Hello and welcome back to Cinema Burger, where I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone as I am recording this and will be releasing this review on December 25th. Today we're here to talk about the sci-fi original movie, Letters to Satan Claus, starring Karen Knox. Now this is a clever parody of these Hallmark type holiday movies and things like that, where a little girl named Holly Winters accidentally writes a letter to Satan when it was supposed to say Santa when she was little and it's coming back to haunt her in her adult life. Now we start out in a town called Ornaments and the girl Holly is kinda spoiled. She parents because they won't let her do what she wants and her sister is too obsessed with Christmas for her liking so she writes a letter wanting her parents to go away. We cut to 22 years later and it's the present time and Holly Winters is now named Holly Frost. She works in the big city and she's a news anchor for the Channel 6 News and she wants to become a main anchor. Now the producer tells her that she has to go to the town of Ornaments which is a big Christmas town and does a Christmas party and themed events every year and this will maybe get her the anchor position. Now Holly is pretty numb to Christmas. She's not a big fan of the holiday se season and she plays it off extremely funny. Now Holly has a dream of her and her little sister opening up presents and what looks like Santa Claus but it's hard to tell. You can kind of see like a mask or something and Holly's sister can't see Santa, it's only Holly and it looks like she's talking to nobody from the sister's point of view. And this is kind of odd. Now Holly wakes up and she realizes she's going to the small town or ornaments where she used to live and she's not happy about it. Now Holly is kind of personifying everyone who is sick of people who are too much in the holiday spirit I guess. It's pretty funny. She's sarcastic and wants alcohol and uh, she's like reading the audience. She's portraying their thoughts I guess. Now when she goes back to her town she sees that the mayor is like a blonde girl that she used to know as a kid and She's not the smartest person in the world and is very shallow and she talks about how there was someone in the neighborhood who wasn't putting up Christmas lights and Holly's like, what, there can't be Jews in ornaments? Which, which is very interesting because not everyone in every town is the same religion and it's nice to acknowledge other religions. Now we get more of Holly's dream before from her childhood and we see that as her and her sister are opening gifts there's body parts and blood in the boxes. Now it's revealed that Holly's parents were mysteriously killed somehow and no one ever knew how it happened. And you can kind of see Santa he has like horns or something and like it doesn't look like the regular Santa, it's like something more mysterious. So Holly eventually finds, goes back to her house, finds her room and finds the letter she wrote as a child to Santa, but accidentally she wrote Satan. And this is where things get more interesting. Now the rest of the people in Ornaments, they're very like Christmas themed like you would be in any like holiday or Hallmark movie but Holly Frost is like the real world character noticing like how weird it is that everyone acts so jolly and happy all the time and it's a nice interaction and jokes with those situations. Holly writes another letter to Satan because she's like been drinking a bit and kind of pissed off that she's back in her town and that she sees her sister who's kind of grown up now and still like believes in Santa and is too happy. She sees her aunt who 
used to be big but now is thin and she doesn't eat the cookies that she bakes anymore and she's sick of all this holly jolly spirit and writes another letter to Satan but this time she gets a more immediate response now Satan Claus starts to appear to people and she makes them kill themselves or she makes people change their inhibitions there's two really like wholesome people work at a coffee shop and they start like acting dirty and raunchy the uh... the mayor gets like put on a christmas tree ornament and like pulled up in the ceiling the aunt who makes cookies she says she believes they're her children so she takes a bite out of the cookie just because she couldn't resist and the cookies are talking to her and it's pretty clever and another character was building a snowman and she makes the snowman like pull her arms and eyes and body to use for like body parts and it's pretty gruesome but also funny at the same time so Satan Claus is killing people in clever Christmas themed ways which is what you want from a Christmas horror comedy now there's a hunky single dad with a daughter who still believes in Santa Claus she's very wholesome also and she's right out of one of those Hallmark movies and there's kind of like a sexual attraction between Holly and the, the single dad and it turns out the mother died in a hot balloon accident or something but the daughter helps Holly try to stop Satan Claus they uh, figure out that they try to write a letter to Santa to ask help to how to stop Satan Claus and she gets the letter back and it leaves like a riddle of how to stop Satan Claus and um, it's basically she used to have Christmas spirit to stop Satan Claus so throughout this movie she's kinda got her Christmas spirit back and they start singing Christmas carols to do away with Satan Claus. And now Satan Claus is a woman in this movie, which is pretty interesting. Normally, they have all these demons and stuff as male. So it's nice to see a female demon slash creature like this. And at the end, everyone lives like happy ever after. And she realizes... Holly realizes that she doesn't want like the big news anchor job kind of and reconnects with her sister and we see Santa Claus at the end leave like a gift under a tree and it's a woman as well and uh, it was a nice little movie here also she Holly has to light the letter that she wrote as a kid to get rid of Satan Claus and that's what finally defeats her. Now, this is a nice premise because it makes fun of the Hallmark movies and it makes fun of all the holly jolly Christmas people in these type of movies. And Karen Knox is hilarious in this movie with our sarcastic tone and reactions to things. So I'd have to give Letters to Satan Claus give it a four out of five burgers because with all these multiple generic movies holiday movies that keep being put out it's nice to see something different and this certainly is different and it goes with a silly premise and it takes it mostly seriously it's great acting from the main character and some of the other side characters and just the writing and the ways Satan Claus tortures and kills people is pretty clever as well. So I hope to see more movies like this. It has a little bigger budget than your typical sci-fi original movies as well. Alright, I'm Scott Berger and I'll see you next time.